Hey everybody, welcome back to the good old Southern IA. Today we're going to be working on this girl right here. She's got a coolant leak going on. Uh, I think the reservoir has a tiny hairline crack in it and it happens to only be leaking when it's cold outside. So what we're going to do is we're going to fire her up, get her brought over into this bay where I've got some better light and see if we can fix this thing up today. Let's try. So here's what I know about this thing so far is that in the summer it was not leaking any coolant. Last winter it was leaking a little bit of coolant and then now it's obviously leaking coolant again. So my guess is the plastic reservoir tank on top of the radiator is expanding and contracting and when it's doing that it basically is opening up a hairline crack. So the goal is to find that hairline crack, epoxy it and see if we can stop the leak. there one hose there one screw there no not yet but I gotta get the gotta get the tank off first and to do that I gotta basically move the whole fan shroud to get to that so it's it's working on it. Uh, I get the. Dad picks the five iron stick because that's what he prefers, and yeah, I took the wrong path, but. So to get to this point here, I have to get these two bolts out of the bottom of this tank right here. To do that, I had to undo the fan shroud, drop the fan shroud down on both sides. In the process, I made a pretty good mess of myself and the shop. Just by taking it out, it's dropped it down enough that actually right there at the tip of my finger is two Phillips head screws that I got to try and get out now. And if I get those two out, then this tank should come up. But after it comes up, there will still be three hoses that I'll have to disconnect. But first, we're going to get it loose. Well, after fighting the good fight there for a little bit, I finally got one of these rivets out. I broke the other one, so I got to dig it out still. But we are working at it. We're getting closer to be able to get this tank out. It's, it's maybe looser. I'm not even sure. So, I don't know. They, they didn't do a very easy maintenance deal on these. I think it's loose. <laughs> that was only about like probably five minutes for you guys, but it's been, uh... oh, I bet that's my leak. I bet that's my leak. There's like a return deal under there and I bet it's got a gasket in it. And I bet that gasket's on bad. That's a good deal. I can fix that. Get that girl off. Wiggle this one here. Okay. Okay. There she is. I'm going to assume that that tank is not cracked and it's that those O rings are what was leaking the seal around here and then if I replace those o-rings it might not leak. I think my first assumption which wouldn't surprise me was wrong that it was expanding and contracting the plastic was it's way more likely that the rubber gaskets were expanding and contracting enough to seal it versus not seal it in the winter and the cold so we're gonna go with that I'm gonna order some new seals for that new rivets and then we'll pick this back up when we get to that point. Yeah, parts please. 6430 here. And I've got a coolant leak going on and I've removed the, the reservoir. 
uh, and has a connection between the two of them. I wouldn't assume that it would seal up, you know, but uh, I've been surprised by other things. And then the other thing that I'll need off of this is it has two plastic rivets that hold that tank down by the frans, flan, uh, flan, oh my gosh, can't talk, the fan shroud. Yeah, I, I destroyed them things trying to get them out. So, yep, bye. And we're back. So here's what I ended up getting at John Deere. Um, I got two of the new rivets, which I'll pull out of the package real quick. Which if we look at them, they're pretty darn goofy looking. I mean, they actually have a screw head on them. So I'm gonna screw those back in when I get in there and then have to rivet and pull them out, I guess. They're one-time uses or something. So then I also got a new O-rings, which I put the O-rings on the uh, tank here in the store, make sure that those were the right ones. I put those O-rings back on. And then I also got two hose clamps for these here. Um, we should be in pretty good shape to put this thing back on. Hopefully it goes on easier than when it came off. And then hopefully also it fixes our problem. We'll see. Well, there we go. We're back together other than putting these bristles back on. Um, I got to put the cap back on and the overflow back onto it. I'm right at the max level right now, which I probably wouldn't have filled it to the max since we're cold outside. But I got a feeling that some of these hoses don't have all the water in it or antifreeze in them until uh, I run it for a little bit. But I don't see any leaks right now, so we're going to fire it back up here in a second. And then we'll probably move it back over to a tome after I sweep up the floor and then let it sit for the night and see if we actually got it fixed. Well, there we go, guys. That wasn't a very exciting day, but that's really a very real day. Not every day do I get to work on fun projects like this truck here, or I actually get to go out and drive tractors around or move snow and things like that. So I guess if I'm gonna show the fun things like driving tractors and doing projects, I better show the real things here too. Um, so let me know if you guys think that I did an okay job with the repair video in the comment section below. And thank you guys again for hanging out with me in the shop today. And of course, we'll see you in the next one. What'd you eat? Yep, you ate something you shouldn't have. Yeah, you don't have to puke near me. Don't puke near me. Go out, you wanna go outside? Please don't puke under me. Bandit doesn't have a very good feeling stomach right now. Probably got himself in the burn pit a few times. Everybody needs a blue healer. <laughs>